Hi, Hiram here. This is going to be a quick video response to a contest that NC Hiker 1971 is having, where he wants everybody to show their uh, bobs, get home, get out of Dodge bags, all that kind of stuff. This is something that I've been working on for the last couple of years. It's stuff that I keep in my car in case something happens. There's this bag and another bag with clothing in it that are seasonal appropriate. Matter of fact, this uh, is different than the bag I usually carry because this is for winter and with the cold and everything I've got to carry more stuff. So normally it's a much smaller bag. But I was saying it's two bags. I have this one with my gear and another bag with clothing, coat, socks, underwear, the whole bit. So conceivably I could run out of the house with just my car keys and I'd be set. The other thing I have in the car is my camping kit that I like to wear. I don't want to put it in here because the gear that's in here I don't touch except for this. What this consists of is gear that I like to wear. My uh, Necker knife that I just got, you know, with all the add-ons. I put that on. No big knives or guns or anything in this. This is low-key. If it's a, one of those, you know what, hits the fan kind of situation, everybody's running around with huge knives and guns and stuff, you're always going to run into somebody else that has a bigger knife, bigger gun, more ammo. At the very least, you're going to run into the police and they're going to take it away from you. So this is no big weapons. The other thing in this is my uh, pocket knife that I like. It's a Boker knife. This goes onto my belt. And one other thing in here is my uh, multi-tool. A Leatherman that I've had for a bunch of years. Just a plain Leatherman. I like that. So that's all stuff that's in my car, but this I use. Now, like I said, this is a kit that is stuck in a car and I never play with it. Some of the things on the outside pocket are a little clip-on can opener, whistle, bottle opener, and a nice little flashlight. It's one of those wind-up jobs. So I don't ever have to worry about running out of electricity. Really important stuff like toilet paper, couple of little packs of toilet paper, paper towels, uh, some cold lights that come in handy, hand sanitizer. You should always make sure carrying stuff like this, it's good to keep your hands clean so you don't make yourself sick. And it's also a good fire starter. Also carry chapstick. Sometimes you need that in the cold. Also it's a good fire starter. Center pouch. Flashlight, battery operated, I'll cover that later. My old Boy Scout compass, I just keep it in here. Cell phone, this is one of those cell phones that you can get at, you know, any drugstore or Target or whatever. I take it out every month or so, make sure it's charged. I also take this with me when I go camping, so I don't have to take my regular phone. Just this little cheap thing. Let's see. Garbage bags. They're always handy to have. Okay. Couple of tea light candles. They're handy. You've seen this before. My fire kit. I think that was all that was in that one. Okay, now for the inside stuff. Water bottle. Carry water in there. I have to change that out every month or so. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here that I change out, batteries and things. This is my uh, Frontier Pro. Now that I use that Sawyer bag, that Sawyer filter, I put this in here and I just keep this in this kit now. Has duct tape on the outside plus uh, some strong fishing line on the outside of that bottle. Can never have too much duct tape. Small cook kit, 
the aspid stove I did a review on this nice snow stove but I don't use it for camping so I put it in here and what I have then is a little strap here that holds it all together inside I have Codlin fuel tablets I think there's what 12 tablets in here so that's enough to warm up water at the very least you should always have warm water to drink but I do have uh, some um, chocolate milk and stuff and a couple of bottles of alcohol and a lighter so this is a complete little kit there for I won't be doing cooking but I will be warming up water spare glasses I need my glasses so that's something I always have to carry those are usually the last ones that I had first aid kit I also have like a uh, at least a week's worth of whatever medicine I have to take in here. A towel. This time of year, these uh, hand warmers. I have hand warmers and a body, couple of body warmers in here. This comes in very handy at night for sleeping. Personal papers, notebook, pencil. I also have a small, can you see it there? It's in a waterproof bag, watertight bag. I also have a CD of scans of personal papers, driver's license, stuff like that in case I need it. I can read it off that. I also have a thumb drive in here in my Faraday cage. Let's see. A couple of blankets. You know, the, the emergency blankets, heat sheets. These are the big size, so I can use them. I, in my summer pack, I carry a poncho, but in this I don't because I figure I got enough stuff in here that I can wrap myself up in uh, to get the water off. So I cut that weight out of here, the poncho. This is a personal hygiene kit, soap, toilet paper, brush, toothbrush, shaver, foot powder, uh, you know, personal stuff, personal hygiene, a mirror can also be used as a signal mirror. Toenail clipper can be used for all kinds of stuff. Tool kit. This is something a little different. Uh, emergency saw. Cord. You know, stuff. Headlight. Crowbar, little crowbar. These are handy. Use this for digging cat holes when you want to go to the bathroom. Use it for opening up stuff. Wire ties. Boy. This is like duct tape. Important stuff. Knife sharpener. Bank line. A sewing kit. A thimble. Pencil. Another cheap pocket knife that was given to me for Christmas a couple of years ago. It's got scissors and corkscrew for in case I find some wine or something, screwdrivers and stuff. Uh, baggy ties, they're handy. So this is the tool kit that I usually carry in here. Getting short on time. Another emergency mylar blanket. Like I said, if it was raining or something, I could throw something like this over me so I don't carry a poncho in here. The uh, Here's a food bag. This isn't stuff for cooking. This is just uh, energy bars and stuff. Things that you can just eat. You don't, there are some uh, tuna fish things in here. There's some soup in here so I can heat it up for the warmth. But as far as food, this should last me, I would say this should last me at least four days. I won't be full, but I won't be starving and I don't have to cook it. This is my, I like this. Normally I don't carry this in the summer. I put it in a garbage bag, but this is my poncho liner. This and the the hand warmers and something would really keep you warm. I can put this 
Okay, that's my 10 minutes. Getting close here. I have a uh, tarp, a 6x8 tarp that I can either use for uh, shelter or, like I said, this is what I would probably drape over me if it was raining. I keep it in the bag to help keep it from getting punctured, plus it's a bag that I can use to put this back into if it's gotten wet. Extra socks. Oh, my pencil fell loose. Also have this. It's a little water bottle holder. If I pick up a, a water bottle, soda bottle somewhere, I can use that with my filter, the Frontier Pro. And this is just a clip that clips onto that so I can clip it to the bag. Also have a watch thermometer attached to the bag. The other thing that I like to carry is this. This is my version of a what they call a Faraday cage. Uh, also, this a lot of this stuff, my wife has the same thing but the female version of it in her car. So we both have something like this. I found a couple of these cans. I think it had pasta in it, metal tin. Uh, it becomes a what they call a Faraday cage. If you look that up, one of the things, one of the you know what hits the fan situations that I'm a little concerned with is what they call a EMP event. It's electromagnetic pulse, like what you get from a nuclear bomb or something. It wipes out everything that's electrical, radios, computers, the whole bit. Uh, television, everything would go out. But supposedly this, a Faraday cage, will protect your stuff from a uh, EMP, electromagnetic pulse. So in here I have a walkie-talkie, uh, a flashlight, I have batteries. Batteries also get affected by the EMPs. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Walkie-talkie. Uh, anyway, my electrical stuff. I also have my thumb drive in here with my information on it, PDF files that have been encrypted of my personal information, uh, checking accounts and stuff like that if it still exists. I know you may laugh at me for this, but it doesn't take that much. If whatever reason I have to use this stuff, if it wasn't for an EMP and everything is still working, I'll just take everything out of this and I have a flashlight, I have a transceiver. transceiver. Now you might wonder, why didn't I put the phone in there, the cell phone? Well, if we've had an EMP, it won't do me any good if this works because the network, the antennas and stuff all over the place will be wiped out. So this is just stuck in the bag and not put in here. In here, I, like I said, I have a transceiver, a little walkie-talkie. Uh, my wife and I have practiced with it. It has like a 20-mile range and some other stuff. So let's see. I think that's about it. Uh, oh, there's a wind-up flashlight in here. It's a little electronic a little bit bigger one than this and that's in here look it up Faraday cage so I thank NC Hiker 1971 for having this little contest see what happens I thank you for watching like always I look forward to your input your questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max I don't know where he is probably in his bed. So anyway, bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.